What would your advice be for a fresh out of college graduate? Is it worth starting to get into the stock market game or should I just learn to code in my spare time and avoid playing the easy money uh, routes like crypto, uh, Forex and stuff? Uh, Morris, let me see if there's anything else Morris has put. Exactly, that was my point. Uh, okay, ba, 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 Morris. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna try to catch up with chat. I'm just gonna talk. Sorry if I'm, I'll answer this. Maybe I'll skim down a little bit. Um, it really depends. Now, uh, spare time, like the stock market, get into the stock market game. Which way are you gonna get into it? Up, down? Do you really want to get into that game? Because that is that is a game that is all consuming, right? Same with the crypto or forex and stuff like this. Uh, it really depends, Morris. Like first order of business for you, going for easy money is okay, right? But it shouldn't be your main focus, and it shouldn't be a hundred percent of what you do. Um, long time ago, someone told me this, and I remember it. Uh, easy come, easy go in gambling. I learned a lot through gambling, right? Easy come, easy go. Okay, fast money come in, fast money goes out, right? The money that sticks with you, the investments that you make that stick with you for an extended period of time, right? Unless you're going to put your money somewhere and just not look at it, cross your fingers, hope the money is going to be there, the system is going to be there, whatever you're invested in, and inflation is going to not reduce your investments now to zero, then put your money in somewhere and walk away for 50 years or 40 years maybe you're still alive 30 years maybe you're still alive 20 years maybe you're still alive and then come and say oh look i got money i can do stuff with or you can look into what your interests are and any excess money that you have just spend researching that topic getting to know it and if it's somewhere you want to spend a lot of time and a lot of resources on then if you're spending resources in that system, whatever it is that you're interested in, that means other people are spending time, resources, money in that system as well. And if you're finding that you spending a lot of time in that system is getting a little taxing, right, is affecting certain other aspects of your life where, you know, in terms of monetary budget and stuff, then look at that system, see if you wanna invest in that system particular system whatever it is quick version of that invest in what you know period that's i think warren buffett said that but before warren buffett many other people have said this right so invest in what you know and what you're interested in right are you interested in the stock market trying to figure out how it works are you trying to find be able to write your own code if you want to write your own code to analyze data for the stock market you're going to have to watch the markets and look at the metrics but that's really learning the mathematics right uh, sorry if it's sort of a this way because investing is very personal right uh, first order of business for you should be your health uh, and try to get out of debt and then once you're out of debt once you start building a little surplus you're a free human being congratulations there are very few people on this planet that are free human beings okay so Pay off your debt, stay healthy, because staying healthy is one of the only ways that you can pay off your debt, right? Stay healthy, pay off your debt, start building a surplus. You're a free human being. Where do you want to spend your time?